Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. It's Taylor. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Beach Cosmetics Nice Palette and showing you guys how I got this look. If you guys want to see this look, swatches, and what I think of this palette, then just keep watching. But first, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, click that bell to notify every time I post a new video. That's all for the intro. Let's get started. So starting off, we have some swatches. I'm taking the shades Cookie and Ginger Snap and blending that into my crease. Now to deepen up the look a little bit, I'm taking the shade Brandy and blending that more into the crease. As you guys can tell, these shades did not swatch the best and I dug my fingers into the pans. I feel like Beach Cosmetics palettes are very hit or miss. This one was in between. I still think the Cherry on Top palette is better. Now I'm attempting to do a Halo Smoky Eye with the dark blue shade called Carolers. As you can see, it is not really showing up. In the pan, it looks so much more pigmented. It's like a very rich blue, but on my eyes, it is not blending. It also came out very patchy. I think overall, it ended up looking really good. Especially, I checked my makeup eight hours late, later and it still looked good, so. Yeah, this shade did not want to blend. So this is where we're at right now. Um, I feel like in person it looks a little bit better. The blue shade kind of messed it up. I'm gonna clean that up when I do my base. So I'm gonna move on to the last shade for my eyes and yeah. Now for my center lid shade, I'm taking the shade Snowball and then on top of that, I'm going with Angel. Um, Snowball, I think it's a pressed glitter. I applied it with the brush to see how it would apply and that obviously didn't work. So I went in with my finger and it applied so much better. And on top of that, I went in with the shade Angel, which to me is more of a shimmer shade. They're both really pretty. Um, I got Snowball in my eye and it hurt. And then the fallout, I could not get it off of my face. It's here throughout the rest of the video, so I'm sorry about that, but it would not move. So in my final review, I said I do recommend this palette, which I do, but based on the shades I tried, I feel like it's a palette you have to use with other palettes. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So overall, my thoughts on this palette. Um, I like it. I would recommend it. Yeah. Um, that blue shade was very patchy, <laughs> if that's the right word. It went on pretty pigmented. I mean, overall it did blend out, but I have a patch like right here that's not blended and over here somewhere that's not blended. So out of the shades I tried, I do like them. I wanna play around with the red tone some more. But yeah, if you guys wanna pick up this palette, I'll leave a link in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click that bell to notify of the time I post a new video. That's all for the video, and see you guys next time. And bye guys! We can